Hey guys, so today I want to talk to you about a number of different things, but before we jump in, I just want to remind you I am still giving away a few limited copies of Hardline, of course, when the game is released. So if you would like a chance to win that title, all you have to do is tell me down in the comments below which weapon would you like to see brought into Battlefield Hardline from any game you've ever played. And of course, leave a lovely like down on the video. Now on top of that, I also have two beta codes for PC for Battlefield Hardline, one of which I am giving away down in the comment section below. All you have to do is work out which number I have replaced with a question mark. And with the second code, I will be giving that away on Twitter tomorrow. So if you don't follow me on Twitter yet, the link is down in the description below. Now, of course, the Hardline giveaway is running all of this week across all of my videos. So if you have missed any of my Hardline videos already and want to improve your chances of winning, of course, as usual, those videos are linked at the end of the video. So don't forget to check them out. So getting all of that good stuff out of the way, today I want to talk to you a little bit more about the beta. Now it's been running for around about a week now, we have seen one or two patches come in to improve some of the issues with the game, but overall so far I have been massively impressed. I have been saying on Twitter that for me personally, this game seems to be running better in the beta than we've ever seen Battlefield 4. Now of course, that is because some of the CTE improvements we've seen in Battlefield 4 have been incorporated into Hardline pretty much straight away. So not only has this beta helped improve the final game as best as possible, but also the CTE for Battlefield 4. Now so far during the beta, we do still only have the two game modes and the single map. Now as I make this video today, we are going to be getting a patch later on. Now hopefully we may see a second map brought in in this pretty big patch. It is something we've seen before, of course in Battlefield 4. Unfortunately, we did only get Siege of Shanghai, but in Battlefield 3 we saw Operation Metro and eventually on PC also Caspian Border. So the more maps we get a chance to play and be exposed to, the more glitches, errors and sometimes balance issues we can test out and hopefully fix before the game is released. So that's my excuse anyway for the developers to give us more maps to play on. When we flew across to San Francisco we got a chance to play maybe four or five different maps including High Tension but of course because of NDA I can't give you any details about those maps but what I can tell you is there are some definite cool maps on the way, some of which, as I said, I would love to see incorporated into the beta. Now, as you can see, at the moment, I am playing the game mode Heist. Now, I have the two game modes available in the beta, I definitely think Blood Money works a lot better, especially for this map. Now, that isn't to say I don't enjoy Heist. I have had chance to play on a different map, and I do think it works a lot better. That map was one you have seen from the leaked reveal trailer inside the bank. And that means the criminals, who are the attacking team, but kind of the defending team in this case, because they start inside the bank and the police come from the outside, have a much better chance of winning. They can lock down the bank, try and defend those vaults whilst they blow them. Whilst on this map, it just doesn't work as well. The big outdoor space just doesn't have enough cover or time for the criminals to move up and blow those vaults. And as you can see, it normally just turns into a bloodbath taking place inside the work site. And this seems to happen in practically every heist game I join. The police team rush down, push the criminals off the bridge, and then it just turns into a big game of team deathmatch taking place inside the work site. So I either think the criminals need more time to get to the vaults before the police arrive, or they just need a wider spawn point allowing them to out flank the police and get to the vaults in a different direction. So there definitely are a few things I would like to see improve for the heist game mode on this map. But that said, there are some things I definitely am enjoying about this beta, one of which is the weapons. Now as you can see throughout this video, I have been using the AKM, a weapon we haven't seen since Battlefield 3. It was very sought after in Battlefield 4, but of course we have the modern predecessor, the AK-12, still a very popular and very useful weapon. But of course, in a game with criminals or terrorists, I couldn't think of a more iconic or classic weapon than the Kalashnikov to be the criminal's main tool. So of course, having this weapon back in Battlefield in a criminal-based game definitely does make a lot of sense. But there are some new features to this weapon. Of course, in Battlefield 4, they took away the option of extended magazines. We had had it in Battlefield 3, but even in BF3, we didn't see extended magazines on assault rifles. Now, in this game, you can get an extended magazine for the AKM, buffing it from 30 rounds up to 40 rounds. So not a massive increase, but having those 10 extra bullets can make a lot of difference. 
Now, at the moment, for me, I am seeing this weapon as the god gun of Hardline. Now, of course, we only have a few weapons in the beta. I have had a chance to use a lot more guns when we went to play it in San Francisco, but even then, I can tell you, this is going to be one of the standout weapons. Now, if you haven't had much chance to use this weapon yet, I know there are a lot of players out there who are just focusing on the return of the M16A3. I really do recommend using this weapon. It's nothing like you've seen in Battlefield previously. Now, if you are going to use it, I highly recommend taking the extended magazine because those extra rounds do make a massive difference but if you are going to be very aggressive get very close to the enemies this thing packs a massive punch now it isn't the most effective weapon at range but because of those extra rounds you can afford to actually just burn some ammo towards the enemy maybe miss two or three of those shots but because of that extended magazine you can beat the enemy by just sheer firepower alone now on top of that, at very close range, the high rate of fire and very high damage makes this thing pack a serious punch. As you saw previously in the video, I actually took out six guys in one go just because of the extended magazine and the high rate of damage and high rate of fire. So this weapon for me, if you are very aggressive, you like getting very close range, is very, very effective. So I do highly recommend checking it out. Now that's all I've got time for today guys, I hope you did enjoy this video, as I said if you want a chance to win a copy of Battlefield Hardline don't forget to hit like and tell me down below which weapon you would love to see in the game. And of course if you want a chance to join the beta don't forget to follow me on Twitter, the link is down below. But in the meantime guys, thank you for watching and I'll see you soon.